GTA Plus. I, I know most of us, if not all of us, have heard of GTA Plus. It's basically Spotify Premium, but for GTA 5, but instead it's useless. So I took up the Dignity and bought it for myself to review it for you guys so you guys don't have to buy it. So whenever you first load in GTA 5 after buying the membership, you're greeted with this lovely screen. Basically, it just gives you an overview on where you can find the benefits and stuff and the pause menu for GTA 5 Plus and where you can cancel it, which you're probably going to have to do. So of course I did what the most sane person would do and go to Legendary Motorsports to see what's all new. And there's only one car and that's the Devesta 8. Mmm. I know it's not new, but it's free, so... And then you get a free auto shop. Mmm. Wow. It's not like we already own one of those already. And then moving on to the clothes, uh, and then you got these abominations, especially the first one. They, they're just really ugly in my opinion. I wouldn't recommend ever putting them on at all. And then you got three times money in RP on Hayo's races. They already pay crap as it is. I wonder what this is going to help. I then took this abomination for a spin. It, it, it's, it's not a good car at all. I wouldn't recommend it, but it is free, so... I wasn't expecting a whole lot out of it. I mean, it, it is really ugly. Uh, I don't understand how someone can really like this car whatsoever, but it is super ugly. The handling is very bad, but the top speed isn't that bad. Now we got the time trials. Um, so I, I basically set up uh, the Turismo Classic, the S95, and the Vesta 8. Vesta's 8's on the bottom, the S95's top right, and the Turismo Classic's up, up top left, if you couldn't tell already. And surprisingly, the Divesta 8 is actually faster than all of them. I want to give a special mention to the 500 grand that they promised to give us whenever you bought it, but I still haven't got mine yet, so, um, well, that's the whole overview of the GTA 5 membership. Um, it's, a, it's not worth buying whatsoever. I, I wish that I never bought it, but for you guys' overview, and yeah.